what's good guys welcome back to ron's rise news welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video where at ces 2023 we get the debut of the qualcomm snapdragon digital chassis concept with a 55 inch display now qualcomm is best known for powering smartphones but they've used ces to unveil the snapdragon digital chassis concept now designed to show how automakers can leverage the company's technology and services the concept blurs the lines between a lifted sedan and crossover coupe now regardless of what category it falls into the concept is sure to turn heads as it sports a full width front led light bar and slender headlights now moving further back you can see plastic body cladding suicide rear doors and a rakish windscreen that flows into the sloping roof now the concept also has light bars integrated into the doors and they can apparently change color now the eye design continues at the rear with a flat deck lid a nearly vertical rear window and enclosed buttress now they're joined by slender taillights and yet another light bar now the exterior styling while it may be very unique isn't really the point instead it's all about the cabin which features a 55 inch pillar to pillar display for driver and front passenger now it's broken up into multiple sections and you can see the instrument cluster that is flanked by the vehicle's information and driver assistance settings now in the center is an infotainment system while the front passenger can enjoy streaming content or online gaming now that's just the tip of the technology iceberg as the concept is outfitted with cameras that can recognize occupants and automatically adjust vehicle settings to their preferences. Now this includes the seating position and climate controls, as well as the recently used applications and preferred content on their respective screens. Now the personal touches don't end there as each passenger can customize their own audio zone while also benefiting from active noise and echo cancellations. Now the concept also sports zonal call technology, which reduces noise from other areas of the vehicle during voice calls. Now other highlights include a virtual assistant with natural language voice control, as well as facial recognition and biometric authentication for making purchases on the go. Now the latter is envisioned to include features and content and services for the concept itself, as well as more mundane things such as parking fees. And in an unfortunate event of a crash, footage from around the vehicle can be recorded and stored to the cloud. Now this promises to simplify the resolution process as there will be video for drivers, law enforcement, and insurance companies to review. Now this might be a good or bad thing depending on who's at fault. Now while the concept isn't slated for production, Qualcomm said it showcases how the Snapdragon digital chassis solutions integrate technologies from a diverse ecosystem of companies to deliver experiences that are highly personalized and intuitive, including immersed infotainment, driver assistance, and enhanced safety. Now, the company went on to say that with the Snapdragon digital chassis and Qualcomm Technologies horizontal connected services platform, car to cloud automakers can scale these premium experiences across a wide range of vehicle tiers and personalize them for each occupant. Now, besides unveiling the concept, Qualcomm also introduced the Snapdragon Ride Flex system on chip or SOC that is slated to go into production next year is designed to allow the digital cockpit advanced driver assistance systems and automated driving functions to coexist on a single SOC. So with that said, what do you guys think about the Quadcom Snapdragon digital chassis? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you guys did enjoy the video today, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Giving the video a like will help get it up in rankings. More people can see it. And we'll have a bigger discussion on this massive 55 inch virtual cockpit or digital chassis in the new Qualcomm Snapdragon. If you guys did want to further support the channel, always check the links down in the description below where I have a one-time link donation for my PayPal, Cash App, Venmo, and Patreon just in case you guys want to donate an extra dollar or two to the channel. Appreciate that extra love, guys. Thank you so much. You guys can also check out the Ron's Rise merch where you can get t-shirts, stickers, hoodies, everything Ron's Rise is there. And I'm also on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat. See everything I'm posting, car memes, pictures, and videos that doesn't always make it here to the channel. But make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, but click the notification bell so you don't miss one video. And with that said, you guys be blessed. Have a great day. And we will talk to you guys in the next Ron's Rise news video. Peace.